South Africa mourns the loss of the legendary Ubaba Umbongeni Ngema. Now, this is truly a loss because he is someone that would be considered as a pioneer of protest theater because you have to understand that protest theater emerged around the time when they started acting. He was an incredible playwright, a choreographer, and he was also a musician. Well, some people may not remember his songs because they are from a long time ago, but one thing that was clear with his work is that he spoke about the social ills of that time. And he's also responsible for introducing us to household names, you know, people like Leleti Kumalo, Somiz Mflongo. Some of us were introduced to these people in Sarafina, which was one of his works, right? And some people may know him for his work in Waza Albert. There is something that is to be said about him. His ink game was on point. He was such an incredible writer, not just a play writer, but his music as well. I remember when he wrote a song called Amandia. <laughs> the way I look at it, he kind of got cancelled, you know, before cancel culture was a thing because he was specifically speaking about how Indian people were mistreating black people. Now, if you are from Durban, you would understand that, you know, it was more so during that time because you have to also look at our social climate, you know. What apartheid did was it told everyone that you are inferior to white, but then the natives of this country, which are black people, we were at the bottom of the bearer. So every race group treated us less than. So he wrote this song as a form of awareness, you know, to just confront the demons, you know, that we had inherited from the apartheid system. Now, that's not all, the only song he wrote. He also wrote Stimela Sasezola uh, and My Fosloza. And also, he was a composer on Mpume's song called Ubabagam Dutu, yes, which was actually a very beautifully written song, a very beautiful piece of art. And Pume can sing. Like, he, she can really, really sing. And Umbongeni Ngema composed that song. And it was so beautiful. It spoke about, um, you know, the things that happens in relationships when a man cheats and so forth. But it just pinpoint the struggle that this woman was going through so he was capable of capturing the emotions you know and bringing them to life that's why his work is so relatable till this day you know and we really have lost a gem you know because he was such a creative soul he was such a gifted artist he he spoke you know his work spoke for itself and he was an incredible actor now i never had the privilege of actually watching him live but there are a lot of people who are close to me who had the opportunity to watch him live and they all had the same you know sentiments they would say that his performances was mind-blowing and I truly believe that because I've seen 
videotapes of his work, but I would have loved to have seen his, you know, theater pro performances live. And it also reminded me of, you know, the, the difference between stage actors and also theater actors. And I, this is just a personal opinion, I feel that theater acting comes with a lot of skill because in TV or in film, a lot of things can be edited, you know, it's not a live performance, live performance. So if you make a mistake, that thing can be cut out or it can be redone. Whereas in stage, you cannot redo. Once that moment is over, it's over. And with theater acting, you have to embody the character. You have to show the image, the the characteristics of the person that you're portraying and there's also a lot of voice projection and every little detail has to be on point and if you make a mistake the most beautiful thing about theater is that you cannot say cut or rewind you can you have to cover that mistake up you have to keep on going and that's why i always feel that the best performances that exist in terms of acting or any form of um you know uh performance lives in stage performances because you get one moment one shot and it's quite impossible to see the same performance twice. And what I mean by that is that with stage actors, there will always be a different surprise in every performance. And there's something to be said about that. And I love to see, you know, stage performance or theater performances getting the recognition that they deserve. And the reason I feel that stage performances don't get much of a recognition as much as TV is because it's mainstream. It's not mainstream, uh, whereas TV and film are more mainstream and uh, more people get to see it. But it is quite a sacred experience. It's a kind of experience that can, you know, change your life. It's, it's so beautiful to watch stage performances it's beautiful to watch theater you know and i feel that uba bumbongenigema gave us a piece of that magic and that's why his passing you know really hits deep because we have truly lost a gem we have lost one of a kind we have lost one of the legends in terms in terms of making this work of art beautiful. But the nicest thing about him is that he paid it forward. He introduced us to a lot of people. He launched so many careers that when those people are performing, we see a part of himself, you know? We see his influence and I thank God that we were able to get the time that we got with him. We got to experience his, his beautiful work in all forms. And condolences to his family, his friends, and his fans.